Okay, so it's time to change the diff oil on the Honda. Just changed the engine oil, which you'll have seen in a uh, previous video, or if not, it's on my channel. I do apologize for the background noise. It seems someone's decided to hoover the car while there's a gap in the rain, but hopefully you can still hear me. So there she is. Uh, this is a 2001 Foreman 450, which I'll put in the title. Uh, the diff in these are presumably every week, or I've been heard are relatively weak. So it's always a good idea to change them. Especially when people don't seem to change the uh, diff oils as much, just more the engine oil. Which means they often don't get changed in a long, long time. So it's definitely worth doing if you just bought a machine. We're keeping on top of it if you own one. Uh, top plug, 17mm. I'd always advise loosening that off before you drain it out, because if you can't, then you're a bit stuck. Especially if it's not been changed in a long time and it's an old machine. Uh, your bottom one, bottom drain bolt, is a 10mm. 10mm socket, you'll need an extension to get to that one, or a deep socket. First of all though, you'll have to take this off. This is the uh, diff skid guard, held on by three 12mm nuts. Always put newspaper down when you're changing oil, and get a decent drain pan. This is my uh, cutout milk bottle. I use one of these for each one and then I just throw it away rather than clean it out. It's just a lot easier. Um, I always change my oil inside, rather than out. Because if you spill any on soil, you ain't getting it up. Get in here, you can. If I do spill any oil, I tend to wipe it up with newspaper. Get a load of degreaser on it. Then uh, once it, most of it's gone, use soapy water with a uh, washing up liquid, which is decent degreaser. Uh, the oil I'm going to use for this... Where's she gone? Just uh, some cheap 8W90 oil. It's got this uh, little thing on top, which makes the front diff much easier. Although, as I say, you might, I probably won't get to that today because I won't have enough oil, I doubt. Uh, the expensive ones tend to come with these, but a tip is to buy an expensive one once because all the threads are the same. So, so let's get on with changing it. So there's your drain plug. Just there. 10mm bolt. There's the extension gone. So that just goes straight on there like that. I have already loosened this off a bit to make it easier, so it should come out pretty easy. There she comes. Please, are you oil in there? Yep, there's oil. Surprisingly, it looks pretty fresh. It's normally pretty black, to be honest, but... I'll let that drain out, then resume the video. Okay, so the oil's all but drained out. So it's time to put the plug back in. You want to be careful not to lose this uh, little metal washer on there, else you won't get a good seal. I also tend to clean them to ensure a good seal as well. So let's just stick that straight back in. Won't take a minute. Alright, there you go. Yeah, your oil check bolt is that. What I basically do is I fill it up to the point where it comes out the check hole. That's about as accurate as you can get it really with these discs. They don't hold a lot. I think this one was uh, slightly low, to be honest, because I'm a bit concerned about how much is in there, but I can't see any leaks, or even where it could leak, so I'm not too bothered. The check bolt is the same as the engine bolt, same size, same washer, so if you do uh, mix them up, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, let's get on with it. Oh, and I also clean inside the threads as well, not that that really matters. If you have a magnetic uh, drain plug, make sure you do that as well. In fact, that's probably the most important part if you do have a magnetic drain plug. So let's just take the cap off this. <laughs> More expensive oil will last longer, but I change the oil so much that it doesn't really matter. There you go. So much easier with one of these uh, little spout things. And they're so cheap as well. I mean, this bottle cost me about four quid. Okay, so it's not coming out yet. I'd estimate it takes somewhere between three and five on um, hundred milliliters. It's about 0.3 to 0.5 liters. Don't know what that is in American. I mean, you might use liters over there. I don't know. I'm sure, someone will tell me. Guess it's taking a fair bit. There you go. Start coming out. Let's try a bit more. Just to make sure. Yep. So all that's left to do now is to put the uh, check plug back in and put the top back on. Then you're done. So I'll, uh, I'll see if I can do the front one today, 
If I reckon I haven't got enough oil, I won't. It'll be in the next video. But there's also brakes needing to do on this. And I've got to take the engine out of that. And various other things. So be sure to stay subscribed or even subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.